Henry. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. They went. Oh, that family was shoulder. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. We have done it. There I'm told everyone. I missed you. The uh, generation of the Otse Mitzrayim uh, is hard to quantify in Chazal because on one hand, they are the door of the generation that accepted the Torah that said, now seven Ishma, that fought on Molek, Vayaminu Vashem of Moshe Abdo. And on the other hand, it's our boy in Shono Akut Bedor, Vomaram Toy Leva Haim, Vahim Lo Yodu Drachoi. So it's a, an ambivalence that exists. And it starts in the beginning of this week's Parsha. Vaira El Avraham El Yitzhak El Yaakov, Ushmi Hashem Lo Nodati Lahem. So on one hand, we can say that this generation was greater than Avraham Yitzhak and Yaakov because they had the revelation of the Shem Hashem, and that was however we understand it and we don't understand it, but they, Avraham Yitzhak and Yaakov were not privileged, so to speak, to have that Shem, to be able to deal with that Shem, with that name of God. But this generation, they were. We look at it the other way. <clears throat> they were so great, they don't need my name, Hashem. It's enough that they know that there's a God in the world and then they're able to accomplish their own connection. They don't need to know all the details. But you, your generation, because so to speak, it is not as great as they were. So to you, I have to reveal the shame Hashem in order that we should have a connection together. In order that we should have bet dvekus one with the other. So you have, again, a two, uh, I wouldn't even say opposite, but two different views completely as to what the Postdoc is telling us. Now Rashi, Rashi here says that it's negative. Because Rashi quotes a medrash, Chaval al the Avdin v'lom mishtachin, that the Rebbeinu Shalom, so to speak, regretted that they had once upon a time Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov, and they understood and they were dovuk b'Hashem, and I didn't have to reveal any names to them, and I don't find that anymore. This is a different generation that. You know, I have to spell it out for them in order for them to achieve it. But again, there are misfortune that say just the opposite. And they say, I'm from Yitzhak and Yaakov, but from them uh, came uh, problems. Yishmuel, Esau, the Machlekes, the Shvotim, etc. And they were the ones that brought us down to Golos and Mitzrayim. And this is a generation of Gula, a generation of redemption. They're going to go out of Egypt. 
So I thought that this is also a fundamental disagreement in Parsha Shmos. So I'm going to tell you what I would have said had I been here. Rashi there says an interesting thing. The question is, what does he repeat the names for? We just had the names. We went through all the names. The Torah has already told us who came down to Mitzray. So Rashi says, Mitochibosot. Rabbi Shalom wanted to express his love for the Jewish people. So uh, he repeated, you know, like a, a person counts one's descendants. Or, uh, which probably happens more often, he counts his wealth. Counts his money, even though he knows how much he has. It's uh, an instinct. And so Rashi brings the posseg there, Munem Mispor Vakalchovim, Luchulam Shemos Yikro. The Rabboni Shalom knows the number of the stars. So we have countless galaxies. You know, we thought that we, we thought uh, how great the number was. And now that they have the new Hubble telescope, we realize we only knew a fraction of what's going on out there. In an ever-expanding universe. But the Rabboni Shalom Kaviochel is able to count each of the star, everything that was created. So it's mitochibosam. The names of the Jewish people are mitochibosam. The Lord loves them. So therefore, he keeps on repeating their names. The Ramban disagrees. The Ramban quotes Rashi, but he disagrees with him. He says, Hey, Lishmos B'nai Yisrael, it's part of the narrative. Now we're going to tell you what happens to them in Mitzrayim. So part of the narrative is to tell you their names, the names of the Shvatim. And then others say that the Ramban means because of the fact they didn't change the names. They were careful to keep their Hebrew names, etc. But it's not because we told Chibosan. It's because it's part of the narrative. So if you say we told Chibosan, so then it's a special generation. The greatest generation ever, the Dordea. The generation of knowledge and understanding of Makavle Torah. The foundation generation of the Jewish people. But if you say that it's only part of the narrative, it's nothing special. It's just the Moshe puts it together for us in a way that we'll understand what happened here. So then that generation is not. And that's why that generation does not live up to its potential. So that really is the question that's asked of every individual and every generation. Did you live up to your potential? There are generations that have a different potential. 250 years ago, there were great generations of Jewish people. They had no potential to deal with Earth's soil at all. So it wasn't asked of them. Our generation has the potential to deal with Eretz Yisrael. Do we deal with it correctly, wisely? Or God forbid that we fritter away chances. And that's true in every individual's life too. Every individual has the potential. So 
So we're judged not only by what we are, but what we could have been. The Gaon of Vilna says that's the Pshad Din the Cheshbon. Din is on what was done. Cheshbon is on what could have been done. So this generation of the Jews in Mitzrayim, who are going to be the generation that leaves Mitzrayim and be the founding generation of the Jewish people, has within it all of the questions uh, that mark all of Jewish society through all of its generations. And therefore, that's why everything is Zecher Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, because in Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim lies all of the issues that will affect us throughout all of the ages. Thank you.